I don't know where they're going, but they're going somewhere fast. A lot of drivers are distracted now. They have their phones out. A Memphis driver, they just drive fast and currently. There are so many car accidents. There are so many pedestrian deaths and cyclist deaths and injuries. There's a famous song that Mark Cohn did, Walking in Memphis. The irony is walking in Memphis is not great. We've got to do something to change it. We are in the Heights. We are north of Summer, south of Jackson. Relatively small neighborhood, but has its fair share of difficulties and also beauties. Many people in our community rely on the sidewalks and the public infrastructure uh, to allow them to get to where they need to get to. We moved here on July the 4th for be three years this year. I'm not a driver, I'm a walker. When I had to get to Crocus, on the most time, we just use my feet. If you're trying to get food, the nearest places you can go to, it's like the Kroger on summer or Aldi's, and that would be like 20 minute drive, so more than an hour walk. I ask God to keep me safe and sound. Don't let me get run on by no car. Several years ago, I was at the corner of Homer and Macon doing my early morning walk. And we got right there at, at the corner, and this man just stopped, did this. So I, I was proceeding to go across the street, and he just ran over me, and he just kept going. And, and one lady said, don't, don't get up, because I was trying to get up. She said, no, baby, you've been hitting to just lay down. They made me stay at home for like maybe, you know, three, three weeks and stuff. And when I come to that intercession right now and I'm walking, there is such a fear. Right now, if I gotta go, you know, oh my God. I am someone who predominantly cycles and walks and uses alternative transportation. I usually take neighborhood roads when I can. I very rarely will not cross at a light. You're supposed to yield to pedestrians. Even if there isn't a light, even if there's not flashing lights, even if there aren't yellow signs, you're supposed to yield to pedestrians in a crosswalk but no one ever does. Well, I never take Poplar. There are so many lanes. People go so fast on Poplar and there's very little barrier in between the third lane, you know, the outer lane of Poplar and the sidewalk. When you compare Summer Avenue to another similar corridor in the state of Tennessee, Summer Avenue had twice two times the state average crash rate for a similar corridor. You have crumbling sidewalks, gap sidewalks. There are segments on Summer Avenue that you have gaps between high visibility crosswalks. Certain areas, almost 3,000 linear feet between a high or a protected or a safe crossing. What you're telling that person is that they have to walk 12 to 15 minutes out of their way just across the road, when inherently you know they're not gonna do that. They're gonna run across there, even though it's seven lanes. The Heights line opened up a couple of weeks ago. Before this existed, not a lot of people would walk anywhere they had the option to. This used to be a four lane road and people would just speed, even though there's a school right there took a design approach 
to this uh, problem that we had. Can we redesign the street to make it safer? So now what we have is one lane of traffic on both sides. We have a 12 foot mixed use path. We have a 33 foot median. Um, and we have a beautiful park space in our community for people to walk safely and to bike safely. Try to walk and see how pedestrian feel on the sidewalk. Just because you own a car doesn't make your life more important uh, than someone who is riding their bike or walking their children to school. When you're in a car, you have the power. You have the, the power to completely, you know, change a person or end a person's life. We him. God made us to be here for you, Joe. Be crazy. What if we asked for more? What if we started a discussion somewhere on, on infrastructure? I think Memphis is way behind when it comes to addressing uh, pedestrian safety in our city. People want to live in a community that's safe for them to walk in, that's walkable, that's livable. That's also what people need. They need to feel safer.